Today I'm drilling holes in perfectly good buckets to finish up my second wicking bucket system. I don't know if I posted the other um, video, but this is the finished system. And I'll explain it real quick. We have our buckets here connected by normal half inch irrigation tube. We have double buckets, one bucket, and then the second bucket on top with the plants. And I'll go into the construction of those, but then you have a controller bucket here. And the controller bucket has a float valve inside. You can see in there. So when water gets low, it will take water from your supply barrel. And the cool thing about this is you got to have all the buckets level is water tends to level out to the same level in all of them. You just got to make sure all your holes are the same height. And even if you have to go down a little bit with the tube and over to another system, it tends to level out. This is taking a little bit of time and it will all level out. Eventually, you can see the water level here is a little bit higher than the control bucket. But that's okay on these. And this one's already filled up. And let me back up to a quick note. Is over here I had Lowe's buckets that I had already had here at the house. If you have a choice, don't get the Lowe's bucket because the lip here is smaller than the lip on the Home Depot buckets. And with this larger lip, you can get a larger net cup in the bottom, which I'll show you over here now. These are the net cups. These are uh, three inch net cups and gives you more wicking surface available. Where in the Lowe's buckets, I add a drill and use two inch net cups. So as you see here, we're drilling our holes in the bottom. And you can actually see this bucket starting to fill up with water down there. This bucket hasn't quite started yet. Sometimes it takes the other buckets to get full before it'll start once it gets going. As you can see it there, it's starting to fill up now. They will all balance out to the same level. And uh, complete. So once you get your hole in there, you're just going to take your net pot and drop it in. And then you'll fill it up with soil and pack your soil into the net pot and roll it tight so it doesn't come loose in the bottom bucket. And then you'll add a couple inches at a time, keeping it moist as you fill it up. That will get the wicking started. As far as your bottom bucket, you'll drill in a hole for a, a half inch grommet and then put your T's, or if it's the last bucket, your elbow in. And then connect again with your half inch irrigation tubing, drip line. It's a nice hard line so it stays level. It might sag a little bit when it gets warm. We have a cool day today. So that's what I'm doing right now is finishing up this and then I actually got uh, my first plants to go in the first bucket. It's going to be cantaloupe. The first two buckets will be cantaloupe and then I'm going to have uh, honeydew melon hopefully. And then two of uh, a watermelon, sugar baby watermelon. And then last one maybe a pumpkin or something. And then when they get bigger I'll build the trellis. So they have uh, can grow vertically and stay off the ground, stay away from disease and weeds and bugs and all that other stuff. So that's it for this for now. You can see here the water in the net, net pot. And then um, that's where it'll wick the water up. And keep your plants watered. Um, let's go back over here to our supply bucket. I have a valve on it. And your supply ba um, barrel here. You just have to, it's going down quite a bit now because it's filling up those new buckets. But uh, you fill this up once a week, maybe once every other week, depending on what your weather's like. And then it just waters itself. You don't have to do anything. 
Be sure you also mulch the top once your plants get going to help keep the water moisture inside from evaporation. And this will use, I say, up to 80% water, less water than uh, normal surface watering. I think I got some seeds along with my straw here somehow. It's growing. I bought the straw at Michael's, so I didn't think and it was a year ago, so I didn't think it would have any seeds in it. But it has something. I have to go get some new straw. Well, that's it for now. I'm going to finish up with this side over here. And uh, see you next time for the next project.